I, I think that we have robust authorities at the Securities and Exchange Commission, and we're going to use them and continue. I think it would be better if the platforms trading securities, the platforms that have lending products. He's throwing shade on the technology itself as well, whether that's the right approach. Uh, we'll also be the cop on the beat and bringing those enforcement actions as well. We should point out, he's getting pushed back from Hester Peirce, and she's known as the crypto mom, as you know. And, you know, she's saying that this whole approach is lacking clarity. And it's not just her. It's I hear this from security lawyers, obviously people in, in the crypto space, academics. I think the real question for Gary Gensler is why, I think someone needs to call him on Capitol Hill. Working with Congress would help because there's a lot of coordination. Uh, and ask him what he, what he thinks about the technology of blockchain. And in the world of stable coins, I do think that there would be some help from Congress. I do think that we can work with Congress uh, with regard to the coordination again. Uh, commodities and securities. And there's a lot of split with Gary Gensler these days, particularly on his approach to regulating crypto. And the question is, does but Gary Gensler's heavy-handed approach, and I think it would be considered heavy-handed, you know, I don't think I'm going out on a limb saying that. It's not opinion. This is basically what everybody's saying. But in terms of the SEC, I do think that we have um, robust authorities uh, but there are gaps, as I've identified them. And so if it doesn't meet the Howey test, it looks to me like it's not a security. Now, maybe you've got a good argument for why some are and some aren't. My whole point is, I think we need to have clarity on this. I think you should publicly disclose this. Apparently, there are private conversations where you work with people who are proposing particular structures and you give them advice, or your staff gives them advice. I just think we ought to have that publicly, and we certainly shouldn't be taking enforcement action against somebody without having first provided that clarity. And we certainly shouldn't be taking enforcement action against somebody without having first provided that clarity. Gary, are you there?